Active composition. Let's find out right now. Let's get right into it, train. So it's that Sneasler and the Rillaboom once again. And it's the Mousehold Annihilate, the classic Love combination it. that we've seen throughout Regulation Set Age. Yeah, absolutely. Now, with Mousehold, you have access to the beat up. That's going to be boosting up the Rage Fist move of the Annihilate. That's a move that's boosted the more hits that that Pokemon takes. So these are on the other side of the field, hoping perhaps for a cheeky status condition on either of the Pokemon over on uh, Zoe's side of the field. You cannot fake out the Annihilate either being a ghost type. Exactly. So Sam has a lot to offer here. You've got like, the obvious plays, maybe like fake out close combat, straight into that mouse hold and delete it. But that mouse hold does have the Terra Ghost, which could be a really nice option here to redirect anything away and then suddenly resist both of the moves that Sneasler can offer. And with the bulk, it will probably survive whatever that Rillaboom also goes for, unless it's a powerful wood hammer. So we are about to see that Terra and it is that ghost into that mouse hold. Maven Mousehold knows how to celebrate Halloween. It's certainly very cute, but now it's come over all scary. And it lets out its little victory squeak yeah. on the field as well. Coaching going out from the Sneasler into the Rillaboom. So boosting up the attack and defense of the ally Pokemon. This Rillaboom hitting harder than it was before. The Annihilate on Zoe's side does, though, have that Terra Fire. So it will be resisting uh, the Grass-type moves coming out from the Rillaboom. And... Uh, now the beat up tools cause a critical hit into the Annihilate as well. But such minimal damage is the Rage Fist just enough to completely clear this Rillaboom from the field. It's not quite. No, it's not. Thanks to that defense boost from the car. Oh, oh. And there's the wood hammer that plus one is easily enough to KO this Annihilate. A massive KO. All of the eggs in the Annihilate basket for Zoe, but it's just down and out after turn one. Yes, yeah, certainly is. That is a huge, crucial piece of Zoe's puzzle. Gone, but now Pelipper can come in, set up the rain here. So the rain is up this time. So at least you then do have the focus ash of the pillar to be able to survive one hit. So you know you're going to be able to get something off here unless Sam goes for, say, Diaclopus Grassy Glide from that Rillaboom, which is looking really strong right now. I think the Grimstar Misty Terrain would have been really nice to kind of have in here at the moment to keep yeah. it safe. But at least Mousehold is still there with that Follow Me to keep it very safe. So Caesar's not going to be doing very much to that if you can kind of afford to get it off. And then the Rillaboom can't protect because it's got the Assault Vest. So a Hurricane to that stop's pretty safe right now. And you definitely want to get rid of it as soon as you can with all those boosts. Absolutely, it's just a bait. And so Pelipper, having dangled that bait in front of Sam's team, is now time to switch in for this shiny Archaldon coming in from the back. Let's hope it can bridge the gap in terms of the advantage here for Zoe right now in the game. Beat up now going into the Archaldon. Oh. Really nice synergy on this team. Not only are you boosting up the Rage Fist, you can boost up the stamina just like we're seeing on the Archaldon. So the body press is hitting for a huge amount of damage. And Sneasler, not a very defensive Pokemon, even though Body Press would be resisted into that slot, we'll still be doing really good damage. Yeah, we talked about how Zoe's got, got a couple of options for setup, but she's just brought both. Okay, right, yeah. Violet's down. I'm just going to bring in my child on now. Yeah, and exactly. then we're going to beat up, uh, that up instead. And versus two physical attackers, it's now looking actually incredible now into the rest of Sam's... Well, at least what these, these two Pokemon out on Sam's team. And if we look at the rest of his team, honestly, there's not a lot that can hit it for good damage right now. If that Primarina is in the back for Sam, that's going to definitely be what he needs to haze away those boosts. Oh, yeah, haze would be really good to see here for Sam. Household, perhaps going for the bait, going for a protect there instead of a follow me. So anything directed into the mousehold to get rid of it won't be doing that. Rillaboom, really low HP, but it is able to hit the gym once more thanks to the coaching from the Sneasler. It's not, oh. not enough to pick up the knockout on these Pokemon, but crucially, it's breaking the focus sash of that Sneasler. So now it could just go down uh, in the remainder of its HP rather than spending a turn uh, to bring it down to its focus sash. And you can see high horsepower, super effective into the Archaldon, but because of all those defense boosts from stamina, it takes it really, really well. And so Sam is just gonna have to hope that maybe that Primarina or another special attacker, potentially the Magma, but really just the Primarina here, is lurking in the back to deal with the Archaldon. We're talking about breaking Focus Ashes, but that Focus Ash is actually just still there. And with one more grassy terrain turn, that Sneasler's going to be back up to full HP, and it'll still be quite effective. Just broken there on the Sneasler, yeah. but yeah, no, absolutely. Just one more tick of grassy terrain, and the Focus Ash would be restored. So, meaning that it would then survive another hit with just the one HP. It's precisely, Charlie. So, we're going to look into this next turn where our child on needs to start dishing out that damage at this point. And Snarls doesn't seem to be like cutting it right now, but some electro shots will definitely help set this thing up. 
Yeah, Electroshock boosting the special attack of our child on and firing off in one turn in the rain as well. Grassy Glide boosted by two coachings. It is enough to bring the Pelipper down to its focus sash. So he's deciding that it's just time to get the rain set up right now. Close combat into the Archaldon. Still, you can see how well it takes it and dropping the defense of the Sneezer as well. So Body Press will be doing even more damage into that slot. And our Archaldon's defense just keeps going up and up and up. It is certainly a bulwark on the field. Whoa. There is going to be the Sneezler down right now. We've got no gouging fire, no burning bulwark, but this is something that the Archaldon is aiming to be. So there's a little bit more extra healing for this child on. We can see that's outspitting this Rillaboom as well, which is really key. But there's still more grassy terrain turns at the moment. But they are running out soon. So this Rillaboom won't be able to offer those grassy glides if once that runs out. And then this Pelipper will likely be able to outspeed and KO it. But Magma comes in, you could say, just in time as well to be able to use that Follow Me and redirect away any of those attacks that could target into it. Do you want to now make the most of these boosts? Rillaboom is looking really strong right now. And that high horsepower might be the last thing that you, you really need to be able to deal with this Ar Archaladon because yes if you've got premium in the back that'd be great but it's still gonna be slower than the, this Archaladon and be able to take some effective damage from an electro shot. I can see Magma very sheepishly going for this follow me here not really wanting to take a body press that's been boosted up so much but that's what it's here to do to redirect but actually gonna be the electro shot so Zoe deciding that it's time for the Archaladon to boost up its special attack as well if it wants to deal with the Pokemon lurking in the back for Sam. If there's a Pokemon that can turn a match around Archaladon is certainly one of them. The electro shot still doing really good damage into that magma and with the high horsepower our child on is being whittled away it cannot protect but it will get a little bit of recovery from this grassy terrain now there it is and also interestingly magma is faster than this our child on here as well so offering an overheat there could be quite key to be able to dish out the rest of that damage yeah the assault vest and the rain it's probably still not enough mm. but it's maybe a grassy glide and an overheat at this, this point quite enough because if you can avoid our child on take do, doing another load of damage because it, and our electro shot is most likely enough now to KO this magmar now that it's a plus one special attack yeah. or rather plus two after it's used the next one yeah, so exactly. he's, like Sam really needs to kind of play quite carefully here as to how he's they're going to deal with this, our child, on assuming that move comes out here. Well, Pelipper is going right to the back now, swooping out off the field in favor of the mouse hole, joining, running in and squeaking on the field. It's got that Terra Ghost already active. Magma will just be keeping himself safe rather than going for another follow me. Electrochart is able to boost up this child on. Was it directed, though, into the Rillaboom? Did Zoe make the call? And will it be able to take care of that Pokemon? Yes, she did. Fantastic to see the Electrochart heading into that slot. Is it going to be enough? Yes, at plus two special attack. That Rillaboom is down. So that was just the Magma and the final Pokemon for Sam. We're going to have the reveal of that in just a moment. Yeah, we are. And with oh, the follow yeah. me next to it as well, there's going to be that follow me and into a potential okay. haze. Yeah. So, like, a haze could be absolutely massive here right now to be able to get rid of all those boosts. Or do you want to just kind of go on the offensive and just try and nip that Archalo in the bud and just kind of take it out as soon as you can? Because you're obviously attacking on the special attacking side here, and Archalo can't even protect at this point. Whereas if you haze first, you then still need to follow up with another attack as well. And Magmar may not have enough damage in the, the tank to be able to deal with it if Pelop ends up being switched in for Zoe. So Sam has a lot of options here at the moment, particularly his mouse hold can go for a follow me. But I think we're, it's most likely a haze, I would say, to kind of get rid of things, reset the board, covers for a follow me, and then hopefully Primo can bulk this out a little bit more. We may even see that terror as well to be able to take the electro shots a little bit better, which would be into the poison type. Poison type, really nice defensively for the Pre Marina. Pelipper switching in, Zoe timed it perfectly. The rain expired just as Pelipper is able to bring it back in with that drizzle ability, making it rain on the field. Not a golden go inside, but Pelipper can make it actually rain. Pre Marina is going for the protect here, not the haze, not getting rid of that boost. That could be crucial based on where Zoe's targeted, but how much is this over you gonna do? Oh. Yes, the Archild on, hang on with 15 HP. The health bars are dwindling over on Zoe's side of the field, but one HP is infinitely more than zero as our child on is now able to get up to plus three in its special attack and take out this magma if so he called it and she did get calling to the pre was going for the protect here so now it's three pokemon versus sam's full hp pre marina yeah, I really like that play from Zoe, honestly, because like you're staring down these two Pokemon, you're really worried about your pre Marina, so you're probably going to be expecting some sort of defensive play. That might be a Protect, a Terra, or a Follow Me. And so either way, Magmar's going to be a really safe target for that, assuming a Follow Me comes out, and oh. Zoe gets it. 
Hurricane and the confusion into the pre marina as well, just to confirm things. But there we go, the electro shot, the Archaldon faster than the pre marina. The confusion isn't going to matter. It's going to be able to take out that pre marina with a super effective hit. And just when it looked like Zoe's back was against the wall, Archaldon was certainly the bridge over troubled water that she needed in order to turn the game around. <laughs> oh, I've used that one a few times before, David, but thank you for. If an Archaldon comes in, you can suddenly hit it real hard. Oh, there it is. That's going to be the King Gambit. Well called, my friend. And alongside the Magma, Mousehold and Annihilate, the cutesy tiny mice alongside the very, very angry ape. <laughs> yeah, so uh, probably even more angry, maybe if another beat up occurs on from Zoe's N2. But the Magma is a really nice option here at the moment. Keeps the King Gambit safe from any sort of drain punches that might want to come out. But interestingly, again, another Magma without that Will-O-Wisp option. Yeah. We, a taunt may still be very useful into either of these slots at some point in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Taunt would be re would be shutting down any follow me's from this magma, or indeed vice versa into the mousehold. But mousehold is the first faster Pokemon, so able to get that taunt off first. So no follow me can be opted for by the magma now, as bulk up is able to boost up this annihilate. Let's hope that annihilate can get more done in this game than it could in the previous for Zoe, as King Gambit is able to respond with that Swords Dance, even though it would be dealing well neutral damage into the annihilate, being a part Ghost and part fighting type as we've seen before even if it's resisted even if it's neutral king gambit can threaten a huge amount of damage on the field yeah it look, it's looking good for zoe right now at the moment to be honest like that magma is completely shut down there a protect from magma yeah. would be really nice there instead to kind of get around that taunt but instead it's now sitting there kind of not doing a whole lot really and lilac has decent special defense especially trained well on this bulk up sort of set here yeah so it's offering so much damage to that king gambit especially if it goes for the terror dark it's still getting hit by the super effective drain punch at this point and with a defense boost it's still gonna be able to take a count out cleave so it's on sam's end as to whether he wants to protect or maybe sort of switch things around to keep this King Gambit a little bit safer. King Gambit getting a whole lot cheekier now with that Terra Dark Crown. Mousehold able to go for the follow me here. Probably doesn't want to be though on the receiving end of a massive count out cleave, but that's what it has to be doing if that's what King Gambit's opted for. With the Drain Punch now connecting down into the Pokemon. Bring it down to about a fifth of its HP, and Mousehold brought down to about half, and of course the recoil of Overheat. You've spent up all that fire, and that means it's gonna drop the special attacks out of Magmar by two stages. Now here comes that big boosted count out cleave easily enough to take care of this mouse hold, but you could argue, we'll see how the rest of the game plays out, but you could argue it's done its job. Yeah, exactly. You could argue that, indeed, because this is not a in a position where, it, especially with a defense boost, it's going to be taking these attacks so much better, and it ha has the speed advantage at this point. Sam doesn't have Tailwind or anything offering any sort of control from that perspective. But that's where King Gambit's Sucker Punch comes in. It's still a pretty nice option. Zoe can get up as much Tailwinds or Speed Boost as she likes. This King, King Gambit it will still offer a lot of damage. But whilst the Gnarlip is this healthy, it's still looking really, really strong. The Magma is still taunted too. It can't do a whole lot. And honestly, a bulk up from Zoe this turn would be is probably a very safe option as King Gambit is really pressured to protect right now. Let's see if Sam falls for it or not. Well, Rillaboom's going to be switching in in favor of the Magma, going from the kitchen to the meadow, from fire into grass on the field. And with the rain, that's fire water grass if ever I saw it. And there's King Gambit going for the protect here. Did Zoe indeed click the bulk up button? Nope, just the damage. Dra drain punch into the Rillaboom, bringing it down to about half its HP. Just the one boost now. But not only is it bulked up with its attack and defense, it's now speedy thanks to Pelipper's Tailwind. Okay, yeah, Tailwind straight up, looking really nice right now. And King Gambit not looking so good either. Rillaboom's good Pokemon to bring in, though, at this point. Like, you, you've got Fake Out for the Pelipper. You've got really a lot of damage to kind of offer with that Wood Hammer. But with the bulk ups on this Annihilate, it, I, Sam's looking to get to that point where maybe some critical hits might be needed soon. Oh, yeah, maybe. And this is a really nice switch. Oh, okay. Our child on here does go for the Sucker Punch, calling the attacking on the Annihilate. Okay. That's a huge amount of damage. A Drain Punch, of course, would be able to heal it back up and with the berry too the annihilate you know once you've hit the gym you got to have a snack and that's exactly what the citrus berry is doing drain parts now able to go for some nice recovery onto that booster king gamma and of course that's the terror option spent over on sam's side of the field as well nice switching in this our child on here just in case sam were to go for a fake out into that slot you get a free stamina boost your child on so you can get started boosting up nice and early but as it is just rid of boom going for the wood hammer now into the annihilate it's a lot of damage but it's not enough for the knockout here of course Rillaboom in this game versus the previous doesn't have any coaching boosts. 
Yeah, exactly. So not doing it anywhere near as much as before. But that, well, one, first of all, that's still a lot. But two, yeah. really interesting to see the clutchness of that citrus berry on the Annihilate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an extra 25% health that saved it this turn completely. Yeah. Which is really, really key here. A lot of people will go for safety goggles on the Annihilate instead, for instance. That's on the mouse hold this time. But citrus berry keeps it alive. Even though you've got drain punch to heal things as well. Leftovers wouldn't have helped there either. It is the citrus berry instead that really helps out. And it really enables Annihilate to get up a little bit more bulk ups really early on and then start getting like the damage on a little bit later as opposed to those leftovers so really nice option for zoe yeah really cool but now this pre marina is in it's threatening the haze on the field to get rid of the boosts to the annihilate in the bulk up you do have the arch on that's threatening super effective damage into pre marina bit of a bait coming out from sam's side of the field versus the previous game gonna be magma switching in instead deciding it's better to save pre marina on the back for later on annihilate is going to be watching from behind is protect shield for this turn keeping itself safe as grassy glide was indeed angling for the annihilate hoping to pick it off a priority move as long as the grassy train is active our child on doesn't really mind that the pre marina switched out it just gets a boost to its special attack thanks to this electro shot was it fired into the pre marina slot now switched into the magma yes it certainly was and the magma with its EV light takes it well but that's still a lot of damage wouldn't be able to take another one of those after the second boost yeah exactly now we're in that another scenario now where Magmar can follow me away like all it likes. It can't take like either an electro shot or a rage fist at this point. And Annihilate might actually be at the point where it's out of range of a grassy glide at this Ooh, point. Yeah. I think it's going to be really close, honestly. But it, so he still has the Terra Fire option as, as an option to be able to get away from those grassy glides. And versus these two Pokemon, it's a very obvious play. Let's see if Sam falls for this. Okay, so no follow me from the Magmar. Ooh. Just to protect. Oh. Annihilate backs on a 1 HP for Zoe. Absolutely massive. Sam's got to be feeling out so disappointed about that. And the Rage Fist now, enough just to pick up the knockout on that Rillaboom could have gone for a drain punch, could have gone for even more recovery there. But as it was, just the Rage Fist enough for the job. Now, our Chalodon is still going to get a boost to its special attack in the face of the Magmar's Protect. The Electro Shot isn't going to do anything, but at least you get that boost. And now this our Chalodon is twice as well set up versus the Pre Marina that's waiting in the back for Sam than it was before. Yeah, you can see why this our Chalodon is such a staple on her team, to be honest. Like with all of that damage that's kicking off her out, but also the setup as well. Bulk up and Electro Shot will just still set up even if your opponent protects yeah such a good move doesn't even miss either now pre marina comes in definitely back against the wall right now it's a bulky pokemon but i don't know if it's gonna be able to take a double up from both of these targets honestly but we have seen the magma can is fairly fast if it goes for another attack but no follow me instead to keep this premier a little bit safer let's see what this premier can do yeah magma just taking one for the team here a big rage fist from this absolutely terrifying and infuriated oh. annihilate just the rage fist itself enough to pick up the magma here we saw in the pre previous game that the Archaldon is faster than the pre marina big electro shot now at plus three after this boost here firing off into the pre marina it's a pokemon that is so good in this meta game but right now it hates facing down this boosted up Archaldon. big electro shot right there into the water type that's going to be enough for the one hit knockout and it's going to be enough for zoe lu to stamp her ticket as the winner in this swiss round seven in lil Massive congratulations to Zoe Lou. Very convincingly won, honestly. Like, just showing how Annihilate and Archaladon, even on the same team, can be still 